Welcome back to another edition of Hit Workouts by Dave. Today we're going to do all abs. So it's going to be a challenging pod style workout. So we got three pods, A, B, and C. And we're going to do a bunch of different ab variations in all of those pods. So 30 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest, four moves in each pod. We're going to go through it three times, pod A, pod B, pod C. As always, click right here to get warmed up and to get started. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I appreciate all of your support. Share with your friends, family, and let's dive into this bad boy. So, like I mentioned, 30 seconds of work. If you need to modify anything, I'm gonna offer a bunch of different modifications. First thing we're gonna do is cross body mountain climber. So you're in a plank position. We're gonna go right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Now I'm going at a little bit more of a controlled pace because I'm trying to focus more on my obliques. And as you can tell, already feeling it nice and controlled get a good rotation it's not a race more so than it is a good twist to work the obliques good and done okay got a 10 second break that's how it's going to be for all of these we're gonna do a toe touch so feet up now i'm not very flexible so i can't go straight you're gonna touch i'm gonna touch my shins if you can go straight leg, touch your toes, that works as well. Pushing the belly button into the mat. Good. Halfway there, 15 seconds. You're going at your pace, remember that. Nice and easy. Good job. Okay, from there we got the butterfly crunch. So I'm gonna lift this up. Feet are going to be together. Belly button's going to go to the ground. And we're going to crunch. Now, if you have any neck issues, you can always go hands, kind of supporting your head, pushing the belly button into the ground. I'm going to stay here to protect my neck. Good job. Or, like I said, here. Good work. All the way to the end. Good. Okay, and now we're gonna do what's called a Spider-Man Mountain Climber. So we're back in that plank position. We're gonna go right knee to right elbow. So we're here, shift forward. We're gonna shift forward to the other side as well. So right knee, right elbow, left, left. Good. This is great for your obliques. I do want you to shift forward. If you watch me, I'm having a slight forward shift. I don't want this. Okay, so we're shifting nice and easy. Good. All right, good news. It's one down. Better news, we got two more to go. Okay, back to that crossbody mountain climber. Here, good twist. Good twist. Good job. Halfway there. 10 seconds. Staying with me. These abs are gonna fire up today, guys. I'm sorry, not sorry. Good. To our back. And we got the toe touch. You're gonna feel this tomorrow. I've been on a roll at putting together some pretty good workouts. Good pace. Good job. Reaching up. Best that you can, we're halfway. Belly button to the ground. Good. Okay, got the butterfly crunch, feet together. I'm gonna go hands up. We're gonna push the belly button into the ground. Or hands behind your neck. Always remember, you can play whatever music you would like to play in your living room 
or if you're at the gym, put some headphones in. I do want you to hear my voice for the modifications, but don't hesitate to play some music. Good. And now last but not least, for cycle two here, we have the Spider-Man mountain climbers. Here we go. Shifting forward, feeling those obliques. Thing about abs, guys and gals, it's not a race. Sometimes in some of these workouts, you know, we might want you to get your heart rate up, so we want you to get moving a little bit. In this instance, a lot of it has to do with feel. I want you to really engage the muscles that you're working when you do that. So control the movement, really isolate, and really use that mind-muscle connection when you do it. Okay, cross body. Last round. And I wish I could say it's last round for abs. We got two more pods. Nice and controlled. Really the modification is not going as far on the twist or really twist. Now, you dump a lot into your shoulders in this. So you have to catch your breath, totally fine. Just get back at it, get a good twist. Good. Okay, back to that toe touch. Legs up and reach. It's a toe touch, but in my world, we'll call it a shin touch. Because my flexibility is not great. <clears throat> I should probably do more yoga or just stretch. Good. Feel that burn. And it burns, trust me. Good. That feels so bad, but so good. If you can't laugh tomorrow, I apologize. What's the worst when your abs hurt is if you got a sneeze. Good crunch. Halfway there, keep pushing. Knock my water bottle over all the way to the end, keep going. Good, okay, this is it for pod A. We have Spider-Man mountain climbers, and then we're done with that. You're doing great. This one's a little bit different, not as high intensity. But that does not mean we're not going to get the same benefit. Good. You can really feel this on the whole side body. Obliques all the way up to your lats. Shoulders are engaged. We're going to get a minute right after this. Good. One more. Good. Well done. Whew. That felt good. So we're a third of the way done. For this next cycle, we got side planks. We're gonna go right side or left side, whichever side you wanna do first. We got a bear crawl hold. We then got another side plank, switching side, and then we have what's called the rock and rollers. So I'll demonstrate that in a second. We got a little bit of time. I mentioned earlier, thank you so much for doing this. You can always subscribe. I'm trying to release a couple videos a week. We got a lot more in the pipeline. It's gonna be challenging. A lot of ab stuff, a lot of total body stuff. Um, so feel free to check out some of these other videos. I'm gonna put a few up here that you can do that are gonna get you going, help you get on your way. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to go to a gym in order to do these. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna start out. I'm gonna go side plank left. And I'm gonna give you two options when we side plank. <clears throat> First option is what we call short lever. My legs are bent. So we're gonna lift up, pushing the knees into the ground, and we're here. This is called short lever, plank hold. Long lever, so we're gonna lift up, and we're here, making it a little bit more challenging. If you want, you can always lift a leg, 
and hang up here, or you can just hang up, whichever works best for you. Short lever, hips up. Good. Okay, we got the bear crawl. Now on the bear crawl, another shoulder move. You have to hold yourself up. So we're on all fours. All you're gonna do is lift your knees an inch above the ground. And we're gonna hang out here. It's super easy, not a problem at all. You could probably do one arm and one leg, it's that easy. I'm just kidding, it's hard. Really freaking hard. You can feel the quads burning. I want your back relatively flat. Try to keep that butt down. We've got five seconds. It burns. Hang with me. Good. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. You got that forearm side plank. Short lever. Hips up. Arm up. Shoulder directly above your elbow. Hanging out here. Make it harder. You gotta make sure the hip comes up. This doesn't count, okay? Hip stays high. If you wanna lift that leg, you can always lift that leg. Hang out here, and imagine that your back is flat up against the wall, okay? Short lever, back flat up against the wall. All the way to the end, hip stays up. Good. Now we got the rock and rollers. If you notice, there's really no crunching in this particular pod. It's just a lot of stability. Okay, forearm plank hold. Eyes directly above your hands. We're gonna rock from side to side. You don't have to touch your hip to the ground. A lot of times people kind of go a little too far and do it. You're gonna hang out here. If it's too difficult, plank hold works. Good. That's the rock and roller. So, good news. We got one down, even better news, we got two to go. So we're back to our side plank. We'll go left. I'm going straight out, hips up, and we're gonna hang here. Nice and easy. This is another evening workout for me. I'm mixing it up these days, some morning, some evening, just based off of my schedule. Hopefully you have the flexibility or you might be a morning person, have at it. Top of the morning to you today if you are early in the morning. Good. Back to the dreaded bear crawl. There's so many different variations off the bear crawl too. I'll get into some of them in the future. All fours, lift up, hanging out. Knees about an inch above the ground. At any time, if you have to go down and catch your breath, pop back up. And once again, any time if you gotta pause this or grab a drink or do whatever, feel free. 10 seconds. And done, good, okay. Go to the other side, we have that side plank. Let's do it. Hips up. Leg up to make it challenging. Back up against a wall, imaginary wall I should say. Good work. 15 seconds. Hips have to stay up. It's almost like someone's pulling a string on your hip to the ceiling. You wanna feel that burn. You should feel it all on that side body. Good. Okay, we got the rock and roll, and we got one more, and then we're on to the last pod. I swear time flies when you're having fun, you know? Doesn't get any more fun than this. <laughs> See, I'm already laughing at myself. But in all seriousness, it does feel good. Slow and controlled. It's the name of the game when it comes to working your abs. It's not a race. You gotta maintain that back. Should say that back health, that lumbar health. Good. Hoo wee. One more time through. Starting out with that side plank. 
Just sweating doing abs. Short lever, hips up, flat back, string pulling you to the ceiling, or in my case, the sky. Man back up, long lever. I'm gonna hang out here. 15 more seconds. Good work, keep holding. Hips stay high, all the way to the end. Good. And the bear crawl. All fours, lift up. And breathe through this one. Got 15 more seconds, good work. Try not to get the butt up, try not to extend into a plank, knees gotta stay bent. Try to make it a 90 degree angle. Sometimes having a mirror is nice because you're able to see. I can't fully see, so I, was, I hope I was 90 degree angle for you. I wanna practice what I preach. Okay, two more to go. Short level lever first, arms up, arm up, hips up high, good pull, nice and easy. Make it harder, here we go. Halfway there. Good. It's gonna burn. You want that feeling. All the way to the end. Good. Okay, rock and roll. And we got one left. We'll grab a drink after this. You're doing a wonderful job. Hang with me. I know this is not easy. Side to side. Good. Five seconds. Good work. Push, push, push. Done. Well done. We got two pods done. We got one to go. We're back to a few more crunch variations on this one. So we're gonna work a little bit more on some core strength. Pod B just now is a lot of core stability. So we're stabilizing the spine. If you weren't able to stabilize the spine, your body won't be able to hold yourself up. So in that stabilization, we're working a lot of different muscle groups and it's more, I don't wanna say for injury prevention, but a little bit more for injury prevention and overall <coughs> strength. Now with crunches and stuff, it's gonna be more strength focus. We're trying to work more of the rectus abdominis, that six pack, in some cases the obliques or the transverse. Enough of the ab lessons. Okay, starting out elevated crunch, which is probably gonna look similar to my toe touch because my toe touch is god awful, but we're gonna be here, 90 degree angle. And we're just gonna crunch nice and easy. Hands can go behind your head if you need to that there and crunch and I always try to stress belly button to the ground when you can focus on that you really can engage that midsection nice and controlled if you want to go up a little bit higher touch your shins I like doing that sometimes too as well makes it a little bit more challenging a little bit farther of a reach good work good okay we have what's called a hollow body hold. Now, you're gonna be like an upside down banana here. I'm gonna give you a couple different variations. First one is gonna be leg bent here. Hands over your head, looking at your belly button, okay? I'm gonna hang out here for just a second. You have to lift your shoulders off the ground. Now to make it harder, both legs are gonna go out. Belly button to the ground, hands over your head. Try to keep those legs straight, trying to make that Kind of that banana look. Now it's hard. My abs are really cast right now. So here, I'm gonna hang out with you here if you need to. Lift up, good. That was challenging. Whew. So hands underneath your butt. We got the hip raise next. So we're 
here. We're just going to thrust up nice and easy. You don't have to go super high. The higher you go, the harder it's going to be. So if you want to go all the way as high as you can, that works. I'm just going to go nice and easy. This is going to target a little more of the lower abs. You're also going to feel a little bit of the lower back. Shouldn't be a bad thing though. Good. Nice and easy. Make sure your hands are underneath your butt. Good. I went pretty quick there. And then we got the boat pose. So we're here, lifting up, slight lean back. Two options, feet go on the ground or feet can go up, okay? Either one works. If it bothers your back, sit up, try it again here. Now, if it really bothers your back, you can always just go leg raise hold. That's fine as well, similar to hollow body, but not. I'm gonna hang out here. You will feel your quads and your legs too, trying to keep them elevated all the way to the end. Good, well done. So that's one cycle. We got two more to go. We got the elevated crunch to start. To start the second cycle. I don't know about you, my abs are fatigued. Whew. Feels good, hurts in a good way. Control, your hands behind your neck or on your head, I should say. You need to still make sure you use your abs. You're not tugging from your neck. It's just there for support, good. That was fun. We got the hollow body hold next. Upside down banana. Which by the way, speaking of bananas, I make a killer banana muffin recipe. It is not healthy. So don't ask. It's a grandma recipe. Good. Switching legs. And I can barely do this hollow body hold. That's how bad I'm hurting. It feels so good. It hurts. Well done. And then we got the hip raise. I just really feel like my programming's been on point lately. I'm making these things challenging. And once again, if you watched one of my previous videos, I patted myself on the back. I'm doing the same thing here. Well done, Dave. You can go to bed tonight knowing that you made a tough workout. And you get this far on this workout why don't you say thank you in the comments thank you for such a hard workout Dave you're the best if you type just that that means I know that you are doing this and then we're gonna finish with the boat pose I put this one last and this one burns at the end I'm gonna go heels down, slight lean back. But also, thank you for doing this workout. It's nice to know that a lot of these workouts that I've been putting together, a lot of people have been doing them and that's been pretty cool, especially getting the feedback. Um, so I can adjust things, make them easier or harder, and I can always continue to make more so that you can continue to get good workouts. So we're back to the elevated crunch. It's our last time through. And I really wanna make this, I'll call it all levels. So there's not, you know, I don't wanna make it super advanced. I don't wanna make it super basic. I do have some more advanced ones. I do have some beginner ones, but overall, I want you to be able to do all these workouts and they're all going to be something uniquely different and there's a rhyme or reason to each one of them. All right, I'm done talking for a little bit here. Hollow body hold. It's my second kryptonite. One leg out, one leg in, looking up, hands over the head. Tuck that chin, push that belly button to the ground, feel that burn. Anytime you got to go to the ground, catch your breath. I'm switching legs. Burn. 
burn, baby, burn. And done. Good. Two more moves to go. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes I wonder too if people just sit at home and watch the video and actually don't do it. I wonder if there are people that actually do that. It's definitely not you. It's rusting up. Good. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super high. If you do get up, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging controlling the way down. You're doing great. Good job. And then we're gonna finish now with the boat pose. This thing's popping out. 30 seconds. Everything you got, here we go. Chest up, slight lean back. Engage your midsection, you will feel your lower back on this one as well. Which I'm starting to feel just a little bit. I don't wanna to go too far. Good. Whew. Well done. So, we just completed three pods of all abs. It's very impressive, very tough workout. I appreciate you doing this with me. Don't hesitate to subscribe here. Um, the more likes, the merrier. The more subscriptions, the merrier. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Thank you for doing this. Check out some of these other videos and enjoy the rest of your day.